Hi there, this is Peter Conway. We're just going to have a look at how you can automatically save um, new records so that you can use the um, the power, power of the image upload uh, functions that are in Alpha 5 version 11. So before we do that though, we'll just have a look at some other entries because I know that people are interested in the image gallery. We'll have a look here at the image gallery to display the collection of images that are used in this particular component. And you can see here that the image gallery is um, showing me quite nicely the various uh, images that are used in this component. Likewise, within the component, I can come down here and open up an image and have a look at it in its own right. So that's very powerful stuff. The video component also lends itself to being a um, very powerful tool. And we'll just have a look at that in a tick. And we'll have a look at that in my preview. So let's. Uh, do that and move off to Chrome and see how that looks. Okay, so here we are in Chrome and we'll have a look at the, the video component running now and you can see how nicely uh, that's positioned itself in the application and uh, it's uh, indeed running and this is a live feed from the uh, site uh, in NASA. So it's integrated into this site very nicely and very easily and you can see that that's um, just a terrific functionality. Anyway, to get to the problem at hand, how do we uh, save and upload data easily so that we can get an image up the line? I'm going to click here the Add Media Item, so which is I'm adding a new record. I'm just going to cut some um, earlier content that I have. And watch now what happens as I I'm just Control C and now I'm Control V. So I've pasted into the description field here. Now I've deliberately slowed all this down but watch as I move away from the description field and come to the about or anywhere else. I've interrupted the process to say that the record is being saved and it will be okay to upload an image. Now um, you normally wouldn't have that need to have that there because it's just a little bit out of sync but you can see that that record's now been saved and I can quite easily now come in here and upload the image uh, that I'm after, which is the Earth, and it's available in the database. Now that's automatically saved, and I can just show that image and and make use of that um, that data straight away. So let's just pop over quickly and have a look at how that was done. So quite rightly, um, you should be hiding the image buttons and that um, functionality to upload and to download you know, the buttons if it's not there. So you can see here that I'm saying if the ID of the record is greater than zero, that means I've got a saved record because ID is a calculated or incrementing field, then um, it will show me the button because it knows the record's been saved. It's just an easy way of doing it. Also, uh, as we can see here in the description, I have a, um, an on blur event. Now you can muck around with these and select what suits you best, but on blur I'm saying that I've got an inline Java event and I and it's telling me to that I want to submit the grid part. And how we do that we'll just pretend we're doing a new one. Click there, inline Java event, down to the insert method, hit the grid filtering button and come down to the bottom and you'll see the submit grid part. If you just select that and uh, click OK then that's what will occur. And the message box will be is just um, that the record's being saved, and it's not actually necessary. So um, that's it. If you do that, as soon as the mouse leaves that cursor, as soon as that mouse leaves the field, um, what will happen is that the record will save because the grid has been instructed to do that uh, for you. Anyway, I hope you find that helpful, and uh, speak to you next time.